Hi everyone. In this session, I'm going to share with you a tip that you can try when you use filters. The reason I just want to share with you is uh, I have noticed while helping experienced Tecla detailers that they miss out something which can make them more productive and efficient. Let's get to the topic. Whenever you use selection filters, I would always recommend you to add object group. Let me show you. To open the selection filter, click this icon. Click new filter to remove all the rows. Add row. Now I want to create the filter options to select only the columns. Click here. It will highlight and give you an option to select from model or multi select from model. Choose select from model and pick any column. It will automatically read this value based on the property. Just click apply. Now, when you do the cross selection, you can see it is not only selecting the columns, but there are so many other objects are selected. The total number of quantities, it shows 1184 objects. It is just because all the switches are enabled here. Now, to pick only the columns, you need to deactivate all the switch and keep only the part switch on. And then when you do the cross selection, it selects only the columns. You can see the quantity 12 objects. It is quite annoying. So what we can do is we can create a filter option that will override your selection switch. Let me show you. Select all the switches. Add an another row. The category should be object. Property should be object type equals part. So what exactly it happens is that the first row, it will select only the parts. The second row, it will select only the columns in part category. Just click apply. Now you can see all the switches are on here. When you do the cross selection, it picks only the columns. I would highly recommend you to set the object row by default whenever you use different set of conditions. This is just a sample technique. I have shared many more techniques uh, in my e-learning course Beyond Basics, a professional guide to Tecla structures. So get enrolled to learn more tips and tricks. If you have any specific questions, feel free to get in touch with me. And thank you for watching this video.